at you from the shores of Lake Erie. EA Sports has the coverage of the NFL from First Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio. The folks here in Cleveland, even though all the down years, have never stopped supporting their hometown guys. And we got evidence of that a moment ago as the Browns made their entrance. They are ready to do battle with the Arizona Cardinals. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. Dante Pettis now from his end zone, and no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Play action, Mayfield. This is intercepted. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. Makes it a score, Cardinals 7, Browns nothing. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll just take a seat and the drive will be good at the 25-yard line. ready to go a first carry now for Nick Chubb and they're able to get this one across the 35 solid way to start the drive 13 yards picking up the first interior of that line blocked really well on that run but also the two tight ends they block well too not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage with their agility they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers defensive backs they do a really good job helping out in the running game. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give him a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Well, this defense for the Cardinals, they were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. And they needed to be because the game was a game we don't see very often anymore. Low scoring, slugging it out in the trenches. One play can make the difference type of a game, and each play took on more importance, and they got it done. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb, and he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. 
Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. And know what they say, those guys on the other side, they get paid too. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Play fake, Mayfield. He's going to look deep down the field. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On third down, Mayfield. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Oh, the return is Kirk. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Cards will take over first and ten. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 16. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. Edmonds a first down and more. And he'll take this all the way up to the 38-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Got to give a nod of appreciation to some of those guys up front over on that left side. Several key blocks sprung here. No appreciation for the guys from the backside that didn't allow any leakage and anybody could run him down from the nah, backside. They're, they're at the kids' table. Okay, so so front side guys, good. Yep. Backside guys, Man, that's what you're supposed to do. I've had better. Okay, either way, worked out quite well, didn't it? A nice, sizable gain. That's a nice job there defensively, being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. First carry for James Conner. Seven yards there and a first down. And there's James Conner with a run that gets everyone's attention. He joined the Arizona Cardinals after four years in Pittsburgh, and his best year with the Steelers, 2018, named a Pro Bowler after a 973-yard, 13-touchdown campaign. Mixed results the last couple of years as he's been in and out of the lineup, but with consistency, he can still be an effective runner. This is Conner. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. So, Charles, you look at this offense. So what a start to the season. Five wins without a loss. When do you think that you start believing that maybe you're in the midst of something special? Well, you and I both know every head coach never wants that thought to creep into a locker room. But the truth of the matter is, not quite at this time, because if we look at the Steelers in 2020, they're a great example. Remember, they started 11-0, then lost 5 of 6 and went out in the first round. But I think if you get toward mid-November, the Thanksgiving time frame, and you're still doing this, that's when things start to get real for a ball club. Now this throw caught left side. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Chance is good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. I spotted man coverage on the outside. I expect we'll see a lot of that from this defense as this game moves on. And that was a good job there as that one was knocked away. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing again, Murray. Uh, he's got it. Touchdown, Cardinals. Christian Kirk, his fourth touchdown on the year. And 
the Cardinals will extend their lead. Prater on to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it. Punt's better. Drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully punts. 62 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A run for Nick Chubb. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Mayfield. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. That catch good for five. It's third down. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. Hey, water alert, water alert. Mayfield on first down. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this game. Mayfield's throw pulled in by Schwartz. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. A very solid gain of 27. A first red zone opportunity for the Browns thus far. They've got it first and goal at the six. From the gun, Mayfield. And it's caught. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points. So they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't even know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Three, 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 three. 
And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. And that's a play to a clog because these RPOs, things happen so quickly. And that ball is out of the quarterback's hands fast. He read it and reacted and was there to hit him as the ball arrived at the receiver. Big time read, big time play. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through him. Murray's throw taken in by Green here. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Boy, these defenses in the AFC North, they probably thought that they were done with A.J. Green. They saw him beat them up for a better part of a decade when he was a Cincinnati Bengal. And now they play him again here as he's an Arizona Cardinal. On second down now, it's Connor. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. Now the pass, and it's into the arms of Hopkins. Touchdown, Cardinals! DeAndre Hopkins, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cardinals now adding on to their lead. Extra point good by Prater. And it's now 21 to 7. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. On second and 11 now. Mayfield flush to his right. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. The Browns on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Throwing Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt, and he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On second and nine, Mayfield. He'll find Schwartz complete right side. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 25 yards there on the catch and run. 
And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10, down at the 33. Now left side on the swing pass. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. The Browns on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Working out of the gun. Mayfield flushed out right. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 15-yard line. 11 yards for number 11. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From the red zone now, Mayfield. And he fires one that's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And the Cardinals are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Excellent pick there by Buda Bacon. I remember when teams were preparing for him primarily as one of the better special teamers in the league. An all-pro as a rookie in that spot. He's grown into being one of the best safeties in the NFL. In 2020, named all-pro again, this time as a member of the secondary. 23 yards on the play. First down, Cardinals after the catch there by DeAndre Hopkins, remember. He spent seven seasons in Houston, now in his second year with Arizona, and went over 10,000 yards receiving for his career last year. Another big season, also tied his career high with 115 catches, none bigger than the Hale Murray against the Buffalo Bills. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Here's Murray. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. John Johnson with the INT. So this is something we didn't see at all from this offense in the victory last week. That's a turnover. They didn't have any, but giving the ball away here in the opening quarter. I love the surprise in your voice because it's exactly what you stated. Didn't see it last week, but it was a key to their win. And it'll be a key to this game as well. Protecting the football. Didn't get it done there. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. On second and 11 now, Mayfield. Pressure comes, and down goes Baker Mayfield. A loss of 10 yards on the play. It's now third down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Mayfield and this Browns offense staring at a third and long now after the sack. To throw, Mayfield. Eluding the pressure right. And he's able to get up here to the 26. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. The Cardinals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Kirk now, the return man. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And that will come the offense as they take over. Yeah. 
Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. <laughs> Coaches, that's all they talk about turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. To throw again on second down. Murray, screen pass to Connor. A first down for Connor and then so. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. 22 yards there, a first down. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. He let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space. The big guys leading the way. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers, and he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. Throwing again on second and ten. Murray. That's caught on the left side by Kirk. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. First down grab there by Christian Kirk, now in his fourth season with the Arizona Cardinals. And they would like to get the ball to him a little bit more. Just 48 catches last year. Typically, when he catches it, it results in big plays. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Escaping the pressure right. And the reception made by Green. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The Cardinal passing game dialed in now. First down. Throwing now is Murray. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked by Ronnie Harrison. They are in an interception mood on defense. Had two nice interceptions a week ago. Now two here in the first half. Yeah, we call it ball hawking. And the only way to truly be good ball hawks is not guessing. It's not just simply anticipation. It's study and understanding what they like to do and beating them to the spot and creating big plays. Well, they're watching the film, and it's working. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Final adjustments being made in the locker room. We're just about set for the second half from Cleveland. And to bring it your way, we go back up to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And, Charles, they got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. To throw, it's Murray. And he will find the rookie from Purdue. That's Rondell Moore. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. 24 yards the gain there. Another first down as well. Oh! 
Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Shotgun now for Murray. Again, he finds more. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And Rondale Moore, a second-round pick from Purdue. Only 5'7", 181. May have prevented him from going in the first round, but what a cerebral player, a great competitor, and his run after the catch, as impressive as anyone had in the draft. Nice catch there. Picks up a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. And this is picked up by the Browns. And his crew will take over with the football at the 35-yard line. So potentially a turning point here in the third quarter as that swings the door back open just a bit. Yeah, they're still down two scores, but I do think we're at that point in the game where you're going to reach for the football whenever possible. You're going to hear the coaches scream from the sidelines, tackle him, second guy in, tackle the ball. The Browns drive about to get started. Now they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. 84 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Field. He's got Hooper on the short connection. And he's got this down to the 35. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. And in his second year in Cleveland after four in Atlanta, Austin Hooper always does all he can to build some rapport with his quarterback. He did it with Baker Mayfield last year. Expects it to continue to rise here in 2021. This one quickly into the hands of Landry. Three yards the gain there, second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They go with Chubb on second down. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals 27. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And again, it's Chubb. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Nick Chubb with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Browns are back with it a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25 yard line. Yeah. 
Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. And this is going to be a Cardinals first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. A good run there off right tackle in an old-school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Connor. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Second and 11 now. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They'll try and run for it with Connor. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Fourth down now after a loss of two. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They're going for it. It's Murray. Flush to his right. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Here's a handoff to Connor. A first down for Connor and then some. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Hurts over the middle. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cardinals push further out in front. Prater for the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback.
Cleveland offense ready to go. And I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. And got his man complete. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. They go play action. Mayfield. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And that is going to do it Let's go. for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. This is caught. Touchdown! Austin Hooper. Beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Browns have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Malcolm Smith there for the stop. A tight game like this, such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. they got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back, tell him to take care of the ball, and try and move forward. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. On first and 10 is Connor. Able to shake free for about seven up to the 35. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Three yards remain for second down. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football.
On third down, it's Connor. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Andy Lee now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Browns will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. drive about to get started and it feels like the momentum has shifted they scored then their defense forces that last punt and now a chance to tie the game on this possession 122 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long but i think after that run the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit they gave up a significant run six yards and now you're saying to yourself how do we stop them and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Chubb will have the first down and much more. There he goes, right side. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb about as dynamic a runner as the NFL has to offer. He put his talents on full display there. That was some kind of run. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. So right back to square one. Tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. And some space here. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. But how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Zach Ertz has it complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 38-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 38. On the handoff, Connor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that. will feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, 
this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. They'll run on first down. Connor, and he'll get maybe a couple before he's taken down as that will take us to the two-minute warning. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They face a second down, but they are in field goal range. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and in inches situation. Now it's Connor. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. They'll look to run with Connor. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Connor with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. Extra point good by Prater. And they will take a seven point lead. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They're down here in a one-score game. At the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time. And Mayfield again with the interception, his third. Isaiah Simmons picking it off, and they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals' touchdown. Now Prater to add the PAT. And the lead is up to 14. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. drive about to get started and they gave up the pick six and now they'll be looking to right the ship here now as a quarterback are you a little more cautious this go around you should be just because after what you gave up but you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score but you still have to be careful because those defensive guys i know the reputation defense guys can't catch all evidence to the contrary on that last possession though <laughs> Mayfield to throw. Connects with Peoples-Jones. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A good pick up there for the Browns. 15 yards. Clock management definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case. Down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Here's Baker. 
And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by the former first-rounder, Trey Waynes. And the Cards are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. Oh, he's got some breathing room. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. He kept it in his hands and tried to push it across the goal line himself, but the defensive front wouldn't allow him to do so, bringing up second down and a bit farther. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another.